Hi, in this tutorial, we'll be making a simple drawing application using the underscore draw function, just like you see right here. So, Godot has a bunch of different nodes that are used to render graphics like sprite, mesh, polygon, line 2D, and so forth. But what if you need more custom shapes, or lots of simple shapes? Well, that's exactly what the underscore draw function is good at. Every canvas item node, so anything inheriting from node 2D or control nodes, has access to this function. Within it, you can use code to draw anything from simple shapes like circles and squares to complex arcs and polygons. To get started, let's create a new scene that is a node 2D. This way, we directly have access to the underscore draw method. Add a script and define the underscore draw function. In the body of the underscore draw function, you'll be able to use a whole slew of drawing specific methods. There are methods for drawing textures, polygons, style boxes, multicolored lines, and a whole bunch more. I'll leave a link to the documentation down below. But in this video, to keep it simple, we'll only be using the draw circle method. So let's try drawing a circle somewhere on the screen. As you can see in the signature of the draw circle function, the first argument is a vector 2 position, the second the radius, and the last a color. I'll just draw a small red circle at an arbitrary location on the screen. If we run this, you'll see the circle right there. To make our drawing app, we just need to draw circles at every location on the screen while clicking and dragging the mouse. I'll start off by defining an array that will be holding the position of each of these circles. Next, we'll have to hook into the input lifecycle method that every node has. Here, we'll check if the left mouse button is pressed. If it is not, we directly return from the function. This way, we know that the rest of the logic only gets run when the left button is pressed. In software development, this is called a guard clause. But I could do some videos on clean code later. If anyone is interested in the topic, just let me know. Anyway, after this check, we need to add the position of our mouse to the array of circle positions. Lastly, we need to update our underscore draw function to draw a circle for each of these saved locations. Cool, let's try it out. Well, the first thing you'll notice is that it doesn't really work. That's because the underscore draw function only gets executed when a node is added to the tree. So at the beginning of its life, or when we manually call the update function. This way you can optimize redraws and only call update when it's really needed. So let's add a call to the update method at the end of our input function. And ta-da, our simple drawing app is done. Now, it's not very accurate, and I wouldn't use it for creating any masterpieces, but it's okay for now. Lastly, before I end the video, I would like to challenge you a bit and give some ways you could experiment on your own. So here are three things I would like you to try out. One, try drawing squares instead of circles. Two, instead of continuously drawing circles, could you make it so that every time you click somewhere, it draws a line from the last click point to the new one? And three, instead of continuously drawing circles, could you make it so that every time you click, you add a point to a polygon? To help you get started, I'll add a bunch of relevant documentation for each challenge down in the description below. Okay, that's it for me. I hope this helped you out. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.